You know, I know he does a lot on video. He gives away cars and shit like that. But, you know, doing stuff on video and doing things in real life are two completely different things. That's like, this is my time of skin. About a year and a half old, but it looks like this. I am you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Surely everybody knows who David Dobrik is. I mean, he was basically the king of YouTube in 2019. But do you know the real reason he quit posting vlogs? Stay tuned and welcome to What's the Topic. And today, we're going to be talking about 10 things you didn't know about David Dobrik. First, let's start with the fact that David is actually an immigrant. He moved to the U.S. from Slovakia when he was 6 years old. He lived in Illinois and attended Vernon Hills High School, playing for the boys' tennis team as well. He was so good that he qualified for the 2014 Boys Tennis State Tournament and won third place in the doubles tournament. Going back to where he grew up, his first job was being a server at an independent living home in Vernon Hills called Hawthorne Lakes, where he would help out the elderly and then hang out with his best friend Natalie Noel after work, who he actually took to prom and made his assistant in the future. She has been in basically every vlog that he has posted on his main channel, and they still hang out to this day. Next, we have how he's casually hung out with so many celebrities like Madison Beer, Addison Rae, Justin Bieber, Charlie Puth, and even Kylie Jenner. He's also been in a couple music videos, such as Graduation by Juice World and Benny Blanco, as well as about five or six music videos for Vlog Squad member Scotty Sire, who is an artist. The music videos being Sad Song, My Life Sucks, Take Me Away, David's Haunted House, 25 Christmas Trees, and Mood Swings. Speaking of stuff that he's been featured in, EA Sports decided to collaborate with him for one of his videos by giving him a brand new Lamborghini Huracan to help promote their new game at the time, Need for Speed Heat, and it was also to promote the new app, Need for Speed Heat Studio, where users could customize cars. So, David did just that and promoted both things while gifting his longtime friend Heath Husser with the Lamborghini featured in the video, surprising best friends with Lamborghini. David has also done a collaboration with Chipotle and has his own item on their menu called the Dobrik Burrito. Another thing I bet you didn't know David was featured in was a Spongebob fan favorite special that he actually hosted with the cast of Spongebob Squarepants back in 2020. The voice of Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, and Sandy were all in a Zoom meeting with David and were reenacting some of fans' favorite scenes from the show. And speaking of popular animated shows, David's friend Jason Nash had a short role in The Simpsons. It was on season 28, episode 3. I finally took that spin class with Miranda. I was sweating so friggin' hot. Speaking of his friend Jason Nash, him and David got into an argument one day about how Jason's kids love their stepdad more than him and that David would never have an ex-wife because he couldn't get a wife in the first place. So David took this to heart and flew out to Boston to propose to Jason's mom. Then they flew to Vegas and got married, then flew to Hawaii for their honeymoon. After that, they flew back to Los Angeles and surprised Jason with the news that he was his legal stepdad, all because Jason made the joke that David would never get married. He certainly took Petty to a whole new level. But being Petty isn't the only thing David Dobrik likes to take to a whole new level. He likes to take everything to a whole new level. Back in 2020, there was an incident where David was controlling an excavator and took things way too far and swung around his close friend at the time, Jeff Wittick, 60 miles per hour in the air on a lake that had one foot deep water. Jeff ended up getting hit by the excavator and suffered serious damage that he probably has to deal with for the rest of his life. I'm sure most of you knew this already, but did you know that Jeff has sued David for $10 million because of this? Recently, on September 28th and October 2nd, 2023, Trisha and Jeff both uploaded podcasts talking about the court case. Jeff mentioned that he never intended on suing David for $10 million, but that TMZ put out numbers probably to make the story pop more. Their court case is set to be over around June 2024. David Dobrik has already tried to dismiss it not once, but twice. But Jeff keeps pushing because the reason he wants to sue is that David is blaming the whole excavator incident on him and saying that he's crazy and it's all his fault, basically not taking any accountability for his actions. What's even better is that David never even apologized to Jeff. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about this, and I'm so sorry that this happened to you, Jeff. 
Certainly a big mess up for David, but that isn't the only one. Back in 2017, David recorded his friend Dom assaulting a fan in their apartment. The fan and her friends came up to David and Dom's apartment to help them record a vlog, but one of them ended up getting harassed. Then, a month later in the same year, David tricked former Vlog Squad member Seth Francois into kissing Jason Nash. He was told that he would be kissing Corinna Kopf, an original Vlog Squad member and Instagram model. It was not revealed to the blindfolded Seth that he was kissing Jason until after the act had already happened. Seth later on posted a video a couple years later exposing this and other negative plus racist situations that he experienced while a part of the Vlog Squad. Another former Vlog Squad member known as Big Nick went on a podcast and exposed how he was also treated unfairly by the Vlog Squad as well. He said that they destroyed his mental health by mocking him for his disabilities, such as his dwarfism, and being blind in one eye. Another former Vlog Squad member, Trisha Paytas, was dating Jason years back and apparently David had hid in her apartment and filmed her and Jason getting intimate and filmed her naked without her consent. Jason even knew of the prank, but however, there was still no consent given. Trisha even asked David to not post the video, but he still did anyways and was up live on his channel for a couple of years. Also back in 2020, a young man named Kareem was trying to be a designer for Dobrik's new app that he was making. In his video applications, he suggests the name Dispo, which leads Dobrik to comment on his TikTok saying he loved the name and would be in touch. But Kareem later revealed that David decided not to hire him. So, about a year later, David launches his app and names it Dispo, the name suggested by Kareem, and didn't even give him any recognition at all and trademark the name. So, it kind of seems that David just films and does whatever he pleases and doesn't take any accountability for his actions, and clearly does not care about anybody or anything else other than the content. And same can be said for Natalie. Her and David had Jeff sit with them editing the documentary while Jeff was bleeding out of his eye, and they're not even taking it into consideration. There is even text evidence from Natalie showing that she clearly doesn't care and only cares about making sure David doesn't look bad in the documentary, even though he has made a lot of entertaining and funny vlogs and has done some good things for people. Because of these allegations, he lost almost all of his big sponsors. Now, many people believe that this is the reason as to why David quit posting vlogs, which does make logical sense even though David has never actually said this, but it's most likely the truth. Also because all of David's channels have been demonetized since these allegations came out. But David hasn't said this. What he said the reason as to why he quit posting vlogs is because he wanted to start his pizza shop, Dobrik's Pizza, which is slightly part of the truth, yes, but it's not the real reason why he quit. Speaking of his pizza shop, Dobrik's Pizza, he's planning on making a reality TV show based on the employees of the shop. David has stated, We've definitely like thought about having a show around Dobrik's that's maybe like almost like a reality show of employees at the restaurant, and like not in a crazy way where they're like going partying every day, but just like almost like a selling sunset meets a restaurant. So basically, it wouldn't be anything like his vlogs used to be because it's too controversial now. So I guess we'll see when the show comes out, if it ever does. Maybe it'll be a hit, maybe it won't, since all the allegations. We'll just have to wait and find out. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your opinions on David Dobrik. Nick, come help me do the outro! Nick! Nick, come help me do the outro! David, I'm right f***ing here with you the whole time! <laughs>